All of the questions in this example can be solved using cross multiplication. In part A, we have 1 over 3x equals minus 3. One over three and x are connected through multiplication. If we rewrite x as x over one, then multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators, we get x over three. So the original equation can be written x over three equals minus three. Cross multiply to get our final answer of x equals minus nine. In part b, we have minus 5 over x equals 20 over 3. When you have a minus beside a fraction, it goes to the numerator. So the original equation can be rewritten with the minus being attached to the 5 in the numerator. Cross multiply to get minus 15 equals 20x. Divide both sides by 20 to isolate x. We can reduce minus 15 over 20 to minus 3 over 4, which is our final answer. In part c, we have x plus 1 over 2 equals 4. We already have a fraction on the left side, and we can convert 4 into a fraction by writing it over 1. Cross multiply to get x plus 1 equals 8. Our final answer is x equals 7. In part d, we have 3 over 2 x minus 4 equals 6. Even though the left side looks complicated, if we multiply 3 over 2 and x minus 4, we can see that it can be combined into one fraction. We can write our next step as 3 times x minus 4 over 2 equals 6. Now write the 6 on the right side as 6 over 1. Cross multiply to get 3 times x minus 4 equals 12. Multiply 3 through the brackets. We now have 3x equals 24. Divide both sides by 3 to isolate x. And our final answer is x equals 8.